Good morning. Uh, it's early, um, well, I guess 6.30 seems early, uh, Friday morning. And um, yesterday I made a post on my Facebook about the loss of my mom. And I first want to thank each and every one of you. Dave and I uh, laid in bed last night and we read each and every comment that was posted by all of you. And I can't tell you enough how touched and moved and grateful that I am for all of your love and your support and your heartfelt messages at this time. Um, yesterday, after reading and going through all of those posts, I, I'm i always a person who, you know, do all your hair and get all your makeup done and, and you know, don't video unless you look perfect and and um you know be there and 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 do everything you can perfectly i'm i'm a micromanager i'm a perfectionist um i'm a worrier uh i'm a giver and i decided that grief was none of those things um it's not uh perfection it's the good and the bad and the ugly and this is a way for me to experience and go through this grieving process and I've decided to share this process with all of you. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So each day I'm going to make a video post to tell you where I'm at and what it's like and if it sucks or if it doesn't. And uh, we're going to go through this journey together. The first thing I decided yesterday with the help of a very good friend and uh, some of you may know world-renowned author and psychic um, was with Sonia Choquette. And one of the things that Sonia said to me is that in her own life, by not pressing pause and giving herself time to heal, that she would trap her grief. And I realized yesterday that I didn't want to do that. I sit in front of hundreds and hundreds of clients who say to me, I'm stuck, I didn't grieve, I didn't give myself time to heal. And I'm not going to be one of those people. I can't be one of those people. I owe it to my mom and to myself and to my clients to get through this. I did decide to take off more time uh, until the new year and this is going to change a lot of reading dates for clients and a lot of people may or may not be upset and the old me would have stressed out and worried about it and and just consume myself with it and I thought I'm not going to do that. I want though for my clients to understand what it means to be a medium and what it means to be a medium is that when you're in that reading with your client, you cannot have any of your own stuff going on. Every single thing has to be connected to their spirit and to them to give them those messages. And if your mind is pulling away from them and thinking, I hurt, I miss my mom, uh, why isn't it my mom I'm talking to? Um, I just got to get through this, my stomach hurts, any of those things. Every split second that your mind detours away from the reading, you've taken away from the amazing messages and healing that you can be giving to your client. So I just decided that that doesn't make any sense. That's not the kind of reading that I would want someone to give me. So why would I want to be giving that kind of reading to anybody else? So instead, I thought giving myself more time is definitely um, the answer. I don't want to be caught up in my own thoughts and feelings when my clients are sitting in front of me needing me to be present and needing me to be available for them. So that was step one. And that was a decision I made yesterday with the help of an amazing spirit and lovely, kind soul, Sonia Choquette. Step two was 
just really being aware of everything. And the first thing I notice is that when you're grieving, sleep is not something that happens readily. I, I don't know why, but uh, I lay awake until three or four o'clock in the morning and then I finally fall asleep and get maybe two or three hours of sleep. Your brain just doesn't know how to stop or how to shut off. You just go and go and go. Anyway, I, I woke up this morning and um, I heard, like I hear spirit over and over and over again. I heard, be present, be available and show up for your life. Be present, be available, and show up for your life. And I thanked my mom and thought, okay, okay, I'm going to be present. Be present in this grief. Be available to heal and be available to others who might be on this journey. And I'm going to show up in my life and stop being afraid of this process and trying to put it off by keeping busy and distracting myself. I'm gonna show up for my life and I'm hopefully going to be strong enough to be able to go through this with all of you. Thank you for uh, watching this morning. Thank you for following me. Thank you for um, trusting me to be the messenger and um, I remind you today to be present, be available, and show up for your life. Even if your life at this moment is filled of grief, you have to go through it. And a very great author and healer says, in order to heal, you have to feel. Louise Hay reminds us of that. So... Today, for all of those that are grieving and missing their loved ones with me, let's just be present, be available, and show up in our lives today and get through it.